Hello everybody, my name is Jarkris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and just to warn you, for some reason, I decided to get a stuffy nose right before I started recording this, so if I sound a little weird, that's why. But anyways, let's get right into this. I believe Ancano has you something there. he wants to say to us. I have Whoa. For you. you were in Sarthol, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Um, yes, we did. I just informed the Archmage. I am well aware. Tolfdir is still in Sarthol, is he? I shall be expecting a full report from him when he returns. Why does this matter to you? Something was discovered in Sarthol that was significant enough that Tolfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. I hate you, Ancano, just gonna say. Just because I decided with the Imperials in the Great War, not the Great War, the Civil War, th that doesn't mean I have any respect for the Thalmor. I truly don't. Um, anyways, in this video, we're actually going to, um, oh, I guess that means we have to go back to the Arcanium. Anyways, we are going to do the quest Forbidden Legends. Ancano, please shut up and leave me alone. Okay, I can't wait. Never mind, not gonna, not gonna say nothing. Okay, Lost Legends, this is the book we're guided to by, um, Talsgar, the Elder, Archivist of Winterhold. Um, where's the one that we want to hear? Blah, blah, blah. But some tales prove far harder to analyze among scholars, perhaps the best known as the Forbidden Legend of the Archmage Galder. In the dawning days of the first area, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Galder, wise and just. He was well known in the courts of King Harold and the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by a man and mer alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him. The others say that King Harold, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galder's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harold's best warriors and the Lord Giermund, the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the Reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Folgenther at the foot of Solitude. The others were run to the ground soon thereafter. And once it was done, King Harold ordered every record of their murders destroyed, and Galder's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain, and no bard will tell the tale, but perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin, waiting to be unearthed. For nothing is ever truly forgotten. Interesting. So, it seems like we have a little beef with some people, you know, thousands of years ago, probably, at this point, right? I don't know. I can tell that I sound weird and, like, stuffed up right now, and I really hate it, because it's not like I'm sick. Literally, just before I recorded this, I just sneezed, and it's like, bam, you have a stuffy nose now. It's like, okay, thanks. Couldn't have come at a greater time. I really appreciate it. Screw you. Right? You know? All right. Abandoned Shack. And I might sound a little tired, because I totally am tired. It's 11.53 p.m. Um... I record too late at night. That's just how it is. I feel like that's because it's the one time I know I'm not going to get disturbed. So. I do it then, but. It causes me to not have as much energy. Because definitely the videos where I have the most energy are the ones where I record earlier in the day. And it seems like when I have more energy, I can like. Well, obviously when you're tired you don't put your thoughts together as well and obviously right now I'm taking big pauses to think and that's also because I can't breathe through my nose for some reason so I need to um okay please let's just not play this game that's because I you know can't breathe through my nose so I have to take stops and breathe through my mouth stupid mouth breather okay here's Fulgenther anyways Took, it, it's taking me way too long to put thoughts together right now. It's kind of sad, almost. I didn't even remind anyone to leave a like and subscribe on the video, which is so unlike me. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Um, comments have been great lately. A lot of good, good comments. And I do apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. But I had to take one exam Sunday night and one Monday morning, so... Both times that I would have recorded the video, I had to take an exam. Alright. Ahem, let's try to read this. How long has it been since I first heard of the Galder legend? 80 years? 100? I can think of nothing else now. My goal is at hand. After years of searching, I finally traced the ivory claw to a collector in Breville. 
His death was necessary, but I have it. At last, I have it. He murdered a guy for it. Jesus. Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers, and took passage on the Ice Runner, bound for solitude once more. The other passengers are becoming suspicious. Returning from dinner, I caught one brute rooting around in my quarters. He almost found the claw. Had the captain not intervened, I would have flayed him alive. I hope to spend the voyage sequestered in my room, reviewing my notes and preparing spells, but I need to deflect some attention for myself. I'll have to mingle, pretend to just be another petty mage, for now. The brute claims to be an adventurer, off to seek his fortune, the ruins of Skyrim with his companions. Perhaps I can turn this into my advantage. Use them as fodder for the traps and draw her within the tombs. I can see the greed in his eyes. Yes, that should work. Three weeks to solitude. The captain says, if I have to suffer these fools longer than that, I'll swim. With the brute and his companions in tow, I led our band across the marsh to Folgenther, where we made camp for the night. Little has changed since my first expedition ten years ago, but this time I have the claw, and I will have the amulet. How did he know which claw he needed? Because as far as I know, they just all look the same, like the, the, the door, the keyholes. That's what I'm trying to say. I spent all night preparing a synopsis of my notes in case some fragment of the tailor piece of ancient lore may be needed to bypass the wards within the tomb. Then I cast all my books and scrolls into the fires, and reduced my life's work to ashes, at long last. Today is the day of reckoning. If I cannot have the amulet, no one will. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, I will, because I am the dragonborn and everything I want is mine. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. I don't know if the game's like really loud, no it's not, it's just my headset. But anyways, my headset's like really turned up right now for some reason. You know, just sometimes it be how it be. Okay, there's already some dead guys in here. Did I miss anything in this? Oh, bones, 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 bones. Okay. Let's not step on that. Hello, adventurer. I take it you're one of the brutes that the dude referenced. As well as you. You don't seem like much of a brute, though. Um, activate keyhole, need the ivory claw to do this, so obviously he, um... Oh, look at him, he's smart, he figured out the impossible puzzle, but he missed this, apparently. I regret calling him smart already. Hello. Oh, why do I have the staff of Gyric, Gyric Galderson still? You know, I have Spellbreaker, um, favorited, so I don't need to scroll through all that. Bonk. Oop. Alright, easy pickings through here, it should be. Seems like our, um, wizard adventurer is dead up there already. Okay, so I'm just gonna, like... I missed. I thought there was gonna be a hanging thing over here like that one, but I was wrong. So, I then tried to, like, loop it all the way back, but I also failed. But luckily, the Draugr are not tough whatsoever anyways. They are just base level Draugr. Look at that one. It's just hanging so... Why is that hanging so low? Ooh, what do you have? Fire and Darkness, a skill book... Oh, apparently I've read it already. I don't... I take it that's probably like a... Um, destruction skill book, if I had to guess. I mean, fire, fire, destruction... Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, um... Oh, there was one over here, but it was all the way on the other side of the room. What's in here? Ooh, gold. You know, I'm a sucker for coins. Need every single last one of them that I can get. How many do I have? 8,620? Not bad, not bad. We have to remember that I um bought that house in Markarth. So that put me back like 12,000 coins. At least 12, but I think it was closer to 12,000. Okay, I am really stupid. Let's not self-deprecate here too much, big guy. Okay, Danis Valen. Ivory Dragon Claw. Let's check right now. We can see the code is Hawk Hawk Dragon. And he also has notes. Oh, more reading. I hate reading for the camera. I feel like it's kind of required. Find the Galdar amulet and Sarthal. I already did that. Yeah, that's right. I hate when it pops up those white texts. You know, it just ruins it. Let me read. If I close the book right away, then you can show the white text. Okay. How to summarize a lifetime of research. So little of what I have learned matters now. 
The petty politics of ancient times, the age-long com campaign that wipe out all mention of the Galdar name. I know not what awaits us within Folgenther. So here, then, is the truth of the tale, as best I have been able to piece it together. In the opening days of the First Era, the Archmage Galdar was revered throughout the world. That says North. Why did I say world? I guess that's just what I thought would roll with. Wisdom, wealth, honor, and power were his, and even Ysirmor's heirs saw his counsel. Smothered by his shadow, Galdar's three sons grew cruel and resentful. They lusted after their father's power and prestige, and eventually Jyrek, the eldest, discovered its source, a mysterious amulet, from which he never parted. Together they conspired to murder their father in his sleep and divide his amulet between them, and so it was done. Consumed by their newfound power, the brothers laid waste to the surrounding villages. So great was the carnage that the High King himself intervened, sending a com company of battle mages led by the Archmage Gierman to subdue the brothers, and after a devastating battle, the three fled the field. Mikrul, the youngest, was run to the ground in Fulgrunther, the ancient barrow at the foot of Solitude, and though he fought for three days and nights, he was at last overcome and entombed there, his crypt sealed by an ivory claw. Gierman pursued Jyrek to the shattered crypts of Sarthal, half buried even then, Ten veteran wizards fell before Jyrek's elemental magic, but he could not overcome them altogether. He too fell and was sealed within the ruined city. And at last, Sigdis was cornered in the southernmost reaches of Skyrim. He challenged Lord Gierman to a duel, knowing his foe was honor-bound to accept, and they clashed in battle, matched strength for strength, and fell together on the field before Ivarstead. The High King ordered a tomb built for Gierman on the lake which still bears his name, and had Sid. Sigdis sealed within forever, guarded by the one who slew him. Galdar himself was interred in a cave not far from where his tower once stood, in the place called Reachwater Rock, and when it was done, King Harold issued an edict. The names and deeds of Galdar and his sons were to be expunged from every record, every chronicle. Under pain of death, no word of them was to be spoken, lest any try to recover the amulet that had been sealed at so great a cost. And so it was done, but a little survived the ages. Enough. Four thousand years have passed, woe, and the tombs remain sealed. The fragments of the Galdar amulet lie within. Since the day I first heard the rumor, I have felt its power, calling to me, pulling at me. I will be the one to reclaim it, restore it, bear it out into the world once more. I must have it. I must. <laughs> Man, sorry for my choppy reading. I really don't know why. I, it's like, I'm not even like bad at reading. I know what I'm saying, it's just I slur my words together so much when I start reading like that for some reason, and I've always had this problem, whether it was reading out loud or like talking in front of a big group of people, I don't I don't really know why, and I'm an excellent reader, I read quite often, you know, it's, it's really strange. I guess I just don't focus on pronunciating my words properly, maybe? I mean, there's always a plethora of excuses. But I'm sure if someone's listening to this, they're going to be like, Oh, don't worry, dude, you're fine. I've gotten a lot of those comments after complaining about not enjoying the way I read and stuff like that. It's just... When you do it so often now, like with me recording YouTube videos three to four a week, it's just like, I have to talk constantly. I mean, that's you know, a couple hours of me talking to people for a couple hours of me talking to people. I was going to say four hours, and it's like, yeah, I already said that part. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, I know what I'm trying to say. It's just the wrong words come out. Hmm. Interesting. Whoop. I wish those rocks, like, fell on him. Only two of them even made it down the stairs. Okay. I don't know how long this ruin is, but I'm probably going to cap out at like 25 minutes if we don't reach the end of it by then. Although, I assume we will, probably. Okay, can we not play this game, Mr. Draugr? Where are you? What, in Tarnation? There's one. Okay, that Frost Atronach is directly behind us. I guess we're going to have to kill it. Won't be too difficult. We're getting up there in level. What are we, 27? Yeah, not a big deal. Let's remember, hawk, um, whale, and snake, 
I don't know what I'm remembering it for. Oh, in here. Hawk whale snake. Hawk whale snake. Okay, Draugr Scourge. Okay, it's not letting me shout for some reason. I was trying to shout him. Man, Skyrim's feeling a little wonky today for some reason. I wonder why. Alright, Hawk. Whale. Snake. That should be what it was, unless they inverted it for some reason. Although I doubt that's what happened. See, sometimes those soul gems, like, cast spells at you. Interesting. I don't know why it didn't. I was staring. It's like staring on the bullet or barrel of a gun. Okay. All the way down the stairs we go. Frostbite spiders. Um, it's interesting to me that you guys have, you know, survived down here for 4,000 years. Because apparently that's how long this tomb's been sealed. But whatever, whatever. I won't think about it too much. It'll just keep me up at night. Probably. No, not at all. I'm not that kind of person. Alright, what was it? It was Hawk Hawk Dragon. And see, like, I'm not stupid, I swear to God. If I was, I wouldn't remember that. I wouldn't remember that the um, code in Bleak Falls Barrow is Bear Butterfly Owl. But I guess that's because I've done it like 200 times. Man, it's still not letting me use my shout. And look, all of them disappear in there. Because it knows I'm trying to, it's just glitching and doesn't let me. It's an issue I've had for so long. Alright, I don't know. Okay, we're just going to have to twist this one twice. Ka-chow. Alright, so what else can I talk about? Oh, you know what's cool? So after... <laughs> I know I just talked about how I couldn't record a video. After I did my exam last night, my friend and I went to the movies which is another reason I couldn't record a video. Um, whoopsies, guys. <laughs> That's so bad. But anyways, yeah, we went to the movies, and we saw a bullet train. Pretty good movie. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, especially when I saw that, like, oh, this movie's going to take place all on this one train, and it's two hours and ten minutes. But they managed to keep it very interesting the entire time and I expected it to be more of a pure action movie but it was definitely very comedic at the same time which I really enjoyed oh wow it actually worked this time and now we're probably gonna end this guy before he even like gets three hits in okay one two that counts as one it was one attack two three. Oh yeah I was right Wow, those all exploded. Okay, Mikrel Galderson. Okay, so he has the Galder Amulet Fragment. Increases your health by 30 points. What does my necklace that I'm wearing right now currently do? Um, Necklace of Mending. Health regenerates 30% faster. I think this is better. He also has a Galder Black Blade, which is a unique weapon. Although it just looks like an ancient, ancient Nordic sword. Wow, I only have 10 points left of carry weight and a writ of sealing be bound here Mikrul, murderer betrayer condemned by your crimes against realm and lord may your name and your deeds be forgotten forever and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward oh it was a little poem interesting okay is that it that it for this place okay so it definitely didn't take as long as i thought it would and if you're wondering why it seemed like there was a little jumpy pause between me you know, like, looting Mikrel and me actually talking about what he had on him. That is because there was, because my mom just got home from work because she works the second shift. And my dog likes to bark when she gets home. It's not like an angry bark, like he thinks somebody's coming in. He, like, sees her and barks because he's so excited and he wiggles his butt and stuff like that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and get us to 1,000 subscribers and I'll do a dog picture reveal. Nobody's even watching this anymore, so I can say that. Okay, search chess. Somebody's gonna come out there and be like, I'm watching and I wanna see your dog. Okay, 250 gold, nothing really good in here. And a word wall, let's see what we learn. Frost, frost, breath. I believe we already have some of that shout, correct? Frost, breath. No, I was totally incorrect because I'm stupid. Not really, I'm a smart guy. It's okay. I have like a 3.5 GPA. I mean, my 
I've done four semesters. Well, this is my fourth semester. I've done a 3.5, 3.43, and a 4.0, so I don't think I'm that dumb. Activate sarcophagus. Says, I'm a drogger. Ha ha ha. I'm goofy. <laughs> that sounded so stupid. Okay, let's get out of here. But before we do, ooh, hop over here. Let's see what was through this door. I pick door number B. <laughs> number B. Door letter B. Door B. Let's just call it that. Oh, loot. Oh, you're gonna... I have to go all the way through this dungeon, get the claw, just have to lockpick the chest. But whatever, I'm the best Skyrim player ever, so I get it. Two gold. I just looked at my camera like I was streaming or something, and I was looking like you guys would be able to see me, but I don't put face cam on these. So it was like such a snotty look. Trust me. Okay, what do I do now? Recording 22 minutes. I don't want to start the next one. So, should I like finish the video here, or should I like not finish the video here? Nah, I'll finish the video here, even though it's only going to be like 20 minutes long. Anyways, if you guys made it this far and you enjoyed the video, make sure leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already or you haven't way, way in the past. I don't know. There's 561 subscribers as of right now, so some of you had to have done it at some point earlier than this. <laughs> um, yeah, if you liked, leave a like and subscribe. Comments are much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.